Yo, 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 and welcome back to another RSPS video. My name's RuneScape Brahmin, and this is Deflect RSPS. I'm going to be showing you guys a new update they have on here, and is absolutely insane for Slayer. I'm going to get into the breakdown of everything they did for this update. It's called Slaughterhouse, but first, I want to mention today's video's giveaway. I'm going to be giving away a free Kaisar box. That's the best box in game right now. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment below with your IGN. I wanted to say a big thank you to everyone who has subscribed so far. I'm trying to reach 2,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. Let's get into today's video. Here I am at the slaughterhouse. To get here, all you have to do is go into the teleport options right here in the top right. Click on dungeons and then you'll see slaughterhouse and then it has a little new symbol next to it. You teleport here and you'll be placed right next to this portal. This portal is how you get into all the different rooms, which I'll explain in a moment. But first, it's going to tell you to come talk to the tutorial. This is instructor Ile over here. You're going to speak to him. He says, what's going on here? Welcome to the slaughterhouse. The slaughterhouse is Slayer's Paradise, accessed by reading the slaughterhouse ticket, which I have right here in my inventory. Once read, you can slaughter 250 mobs. You can also extend the task freely with your Slayer points. After reading a slaughterhouse ticket, proceed to the portal offering five options. Respawn timers on mobs will lower in a higher tier zone. Having a higher rank scales with reward benefits. Head over to Bender and right click him to get started. Okay, so we can go over here and right click Bartender Bender here you can see. You have the open shop option which is going to open up a shop to buy things. And then you also have the switch drops. You're going to click the switch drops. It's going to open this up and you can choose between if you want to get blood money or burner scrolls. So keep in mind, this is going to scale with your in-game rank that you earn um, from trading in the donator books. You can earn donator books from doing the global bosses, bingo, or donating. So once you get to the higher ranks, you're going to get more and more blood money or burner scrolls depending which one you choose. Now for the sake of this video, I'm going to do blood money. So make them drop blood money. And... Um, after that, you're good to go. I want to show you in the shop real quick. I have a couple options. You can buy armor crystals. These armor crystals are used to make the tier one armors. And then also you have these three new perks that are added. I heard they're going to add more stuff to this over time. But right now they have the bonus slaughter burns. So what it does is slaughter monsters will drop an additional burn scroll at one in five chance. Bonus slaughter blood money. Slaughter monsters will drop an additional 500 blood money every kill. That's huge. That one's probably the best one right here. I think it's the most expensive too. And then you also have bonus slaughter boxes. So these are going to drop these boxes here. You can see on screen they have the, the donator box, chambers of Zarek, theater of blood, and then the dark fire boss um, chest right there. That's pretty much everything in the shop for right now. I have those three perks already. I'm going to go ahead and unlock them. I might be the first person to unlock these. I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and unlock them. We unlocked them all. They're looking good right there. And then we're going to drop these advanced dragon. The dragon also has a custom perk here. What it does is it's going to give you an additional 500 blood money every single time. Now on this account, I do have the 15k rank. So I'm going to be going into the best zone here. I already have a task. My task has over 10,000. So I'm going to be seeing how fast I can kill 10,000 and how much money I get from it. Now you can see here, you can go servants. This is the lowest tier zone with the, with the slowest respawns. It's still good. Like it still respawns really fast. Then you have 5k. It's quicker, 10k even quicker. And then 15k right now is the best. And then they have to be announced. I'm guessing that's going to be some kind of the next zone once they add it in. Um, rumor has it, I think it's the 30k rank. So people are grinding towards that and it's making donator books go up a little bit. So that's also good for the economy. Let's go ahead. Soldier Estates teleports me in right here. And you can see I'm in here alone. Um, you can't just keep coming in here, by the way, I forgot to mention to get this slaughterhouse ticket. Every time you complete a normal Slayer task, it's a one in 10 chance to get this. Now you can see, um, let me, I think I need to get a bracelet of slaughter. I think I do, but for this sake, we won't get the bracelet of slaughter. We'll just see exactly how much we get from 10K. If you have 10K like this and you have the slaughter, you're going to get like 25% more. So really, you'd get 12,500, something around there, and you get even more blood money for the same amount. So I do recommend you get either the bracelet of slaughter or you get like the perk that is like the permanent bracelet of slaughter that you don't have to wear. And you can see I already have 76K blood money just from a little bit. I'm going to keep on killing these. And I'm going to do the full 10,000. It's completely AFK too. You just sit in here. And uh, right now, these are the fastest respawns. You can just see them respawning like big stacks of them. Big stacks of them just keep on respawning on top of me. And honestly, I should go get my frog bag. So I'll go get, yeah, I should go get my frog bag. Because these frogs are going to stack up. I also want to see how many frogs I get. I'll be back and then I'll start the grind. All right, I went and bought a cheeky little frog bag. So now it'll automatically pick up. It's cool. It put me in the same exact room. 
I have the ring on and we're just shredding. Yeah, we're absolutely shredding through these. Look at all the XP drops I get. Every single hit, I'm pretty much one clapping these because I am in the best in slot armor from the last time I did a video on this account. I did the advanced raid when it came out to show everyone kind of how it's done. And you can see the best thing about this is not just the blood money because you are getting an insane amount of blood money, especially when you have those perks. So keep in mind, I have the absolute best stuff you can have right now for this. I have those perks unlocked. To unlock those perks, you get points. So when you kill these, you get points. They're called slaughter points. They're right here. You can see them. Right now, I have 490 from what you've seen me kill on camera. And each one of those perks costs tens of thousands of points. So they do take a little bit of time to unlock. But by far, this is a really cool Slayer update. And it actually gives you incentive for completing tasks. Because before with Slayer, everyone was just extending like their Hellhound tasks, the things like that. Right now, you want to power through tasks, get as many Slayer points as you can, get a Slaughter Ticket, open the Slaughter Ticket, and then extend your Slaughter as much as you can. Get as many KC as you can at the Slaughterhouse. So you can see right here, I'm just under 10k left, and I'm absolutely dropping these. I'm killing like 8 at a time, and they're just getting one shot, spawning one shot. You will burn through these quickly, so you can't just sit here forever. Uh, the Konar Key went on the ground for some reason. I'm not sure. Maybe there's no Konar Key auto pickup, but yeah. Um, the Konar keys are really good money. The Brimstone keys are really money. I'm not sure if I have the other perks. I don't think I have them for the Crystillia's keys, but you'll also get those keys. So this isn't going to be completely optimal for keys alone. Um, I am finding the burner scrolls. As you can see here, that perk I unlocked, your perk caused the monster to grant a burner scroll. And then you'll also see, um, you'll also see somewhere in here. My dragon also finds stuff. I'm not sure if I got anything yet, but I'm just getting a ton of different loots in here. So this place, absolutely goaded, absolutely the best thing that they have for Slayer right now if you can get into the slaughterhouse. It sucks that the time goes by so fast in here because you feel like you're just racking up so much money. Look at that. I haven't even been in here very long, and I'm already sitting at 400k blood money near some burners, a bunch of keys, and that's pretty much how it's going to go. I've only killed a little bit over 100, and I'm already sitting at that, so we have to kill like... 100 times more than that to see where we get i'm just going to shred through these things and see how much i have after all these kills because i am interested to see how much money 10,000 of these will be we are officially almost a thousand in and i already got 25 konar keys and look at that blood money stack right there 2.5 mil over 2.5 mil so that means from a thousand if i got 2.5 mil that means from 10,000 i should be getting around 25 mil the only way we'll know if we actually get 25 mil is to kill all these slaughters we have left that's going to take a little bit of time but i'm here for the prize and i'm going to get that 25 mil one way or another all right, so we're a little bit past 5,000 done. So we're at 5,100 KC right there. You can see what loot we have so far. We have 11 mil blood money coming in. We have 868 burners. That's a ton of burners right there. We got 19 of these, don 20 of these donator boxes now. Six dark fire chests. We got two march keys, a bunch of Konar keys. Now I decided that after 5K, killing 5K right here, what I want to do is I want to get this KC to 10,000, but I want to swap over to the item burn function to see how many burners I can get. Now we have 869 here. Let's go ahead over to dungeons slaughterhouse and then we're going to swap it back you go over to mr bartender bender right here and then you click switch drops and then we want to click over to make them drop burner scrolls now you guys are going to see the true power of how many burns you can get from this it's absolutely nutty let's see so right off the bat let's see if we get any on the first couple kills 869 right there we got one um i don't think that was your the, your perk caused the monster to grant a burner scroll yeah look at that look at that we're getting so many of them we're getting a ton so that was four from that drop i think they every time they get a kill you get a chance you get a chance to get at this donator rank i think it's four burners five burners i'm not sure how many it gives you i'm gonna wait till i can get one it says right there your perk caused a monster to grant a burner scroll perk caused a monster okay now it should say like there, there you go. Your 15k rank, your 15k rank gave you three extra burner scrolls. So that means every time we hit a burner scroll roll, we're getting four of them. That's 2,000 burner points. That's really nice, actually. So we're gonna get the last 5,000. We're gonna see how many we can get to. We started off, I think it was 869. I'm not really sure exact on the number, but let's say 870, and we're gonna see how many we get from the last 5k. I have a feeling blood money is more worth it, but we could see on the track we were at, we were getting about you know, 20 mil plus blood money for the 10K kills. I just really want to, I'm interested on the burners. I really want to see how many burners we can get as well.
I'm almost at that 10K mark. I've been grinding for quite some time. It did take a little longer than I thought, and my account does have the slaughter perk unlocked, so it didn't complete the task at 10,000. So it was killing extra each time. Basically what the slaughter does is it has a one in four chance of skipping, um, like when you kill one, it won't count towards your task. So I still have 2,700 left. So that's right on par with, you know what I mean, 25%. Um, but look at how much loot I've gotten right here. So total, I have about 2,800 burner points or burner scrolls. So that means I got about 2,000 out of 5K kills. But you have to remember, I was still at like maybe 12 mil blood money, something like that. So realistically, that perk that I got out of the shop that gives you 500 BM per kill stacked with the dragon giving you 500 BM per kill, honestly, that's better than even the donator rank. So really, if someone gets a dragon... And even if they go and kill them in these zones, the free zones over there, you're still going to make a ton of blood money per hour, even if you have the burner ones turned on. So I think we can safe to say burners are not bad. Um, I'm not sure on the exact amount on how much this is. It looks like I got about 2000 total from 5k kills. So that means I get with this rank. I don't even know what the math is on that. I'm pretty dumb, but it looks like I get one every like three kills or something like that. Maybe more, maybe less. I'm not sure. But 106 Konar keys, I didn't pick them all up. Some disappeared because they don't auto pick up. I have 646 brimstone keys. I got three March keys. I got these blood satchels. Let's open them up. I don't even know how much that gave me. And then I got a bunch of these blood money pouches. Open those up. And yeah, we're sitting at 20 mil blood money off of that. Let's teleport home because I am interested to see how much total is from this right here, the item burner points. Let's go ahead. Let's go open up the exchange. We're going to go see items, item burner. We're going to see what they sell for each. So it looks like the cheapest price in here right now is 1500. So 1500 times 2K. Let's bring up the calculator. Let's see. 1500 i'm sure this is easy math 1500 times 2000 equals three mil um yeah so about three mil extra blood money on top of that so i think you're better off getting the raw blood money right now i'm sure over time the burner scrolls will go up in value as more blood money comes into the game um, eventually blood money and this will help equal them out a lot in the economy i think between item burners and blood money so it's a super good update overall and that's what i got from ten thousand of them basically it really was worth it and i just noticed 400 divine crystal keys that's insane i'm not going to turn this into a key opening video but i do think it's awesome the amount of stuff you get from that slaughter zone now getting 10,000 kills there will take some time for a lot of people but that's pretty much it for today's video again if you want to enter in the giveaway all you have to do is like this video subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below with your ign let's go ahead and get into last video's giveaway right now all right, and we got 17 people entered in on this giveaway. This giveaway is for a $25 book. The next one is going to be for a Kaiser box. Congratulations to IGN, Mr. Wobby. Make sure you hit up the owners in-game if you want that free $25. Again, this has been RuneScape Ramen covering Deflect RSPS. If you haven't checked the server out yet already, please do so. The link to their website and Discord will be in the description below. Until next time, peace.